discuss the benefits of a creep feeder. use a creep feeder for all kinds of baby animals and I set up a creep feeder for my little lambs and I'm going to give you some reasons why I do that okay I think you can see a little bit better how this creep pin is set up from this angle um, this is the mama's pin and we call this tree over here in the corner of our pasture the lamb tree um, they just love to lay under this tree. They can kind of see everywhere in the pasture. It gives them like a good lookout point. In the summer they lay there in the shade. And this is just kind of their favorite hangout spot. So having the creep feeder set up close to that lamb tree where the mamas will be hanging out is probably an ideal location. Um, if you look how it is set up, I have a, the primary thing I'm using here is a it's called a creep panel. It's made by Premier One Company. And I don't know if you guys can tell this or not, but these roll back and forth. Um, the bars are adjustable in this creep gate. It's well worth the price of investment. Um, you want to start out with the panels 7 inches apart, and the top bar is 14 inches from the ground so that these little lambs can get in and nobody else can and that gives them an advantage of having some food that mamas can't get to. Um, I have some Premier One um, spiral panel connectors on each corner. I have this pin secured to our regular lamb fold. I have it secured here. As you can see I'm using rebar as posts because it'll go right down in there. I have another little post right here, and I have a small gap at this end that the lambs can enter, and it's kind of an angle, so that also helps to prevent the mamas from char trying to charge through or push down the creep panel. Um, inside here, let's get a little bit more of a close-up and get my shadow out of it. Um, this is their hay ring. As you can see, it's just a little plastic ring cut off the top of one of the 50 gallon barrels and I have the grain feeder secured in the corner. Um, when these mamas are out in the pasture this will stay set up this way but I will probably add an additional solid panel right around this creep feeder um, piece of plywood or a piece of something so that they don't want to push and try to shove through that fence to get to that grain because these are hungry mamas and they're always after a new meal. So as you can see, babies are starting to kind of go to the feeder. Let's see if I can get a little bit of action here of them going in. I'm trying to film this so you guys see how it works. Um, creep feeding lambs is extremely important, especially if you have triplets. I heard another channel talking about that they had triplet lambs and they were taking a lamb away from their mama lamb mama sheep because the mama cannot support three babies and the secret to raising triplets first of all is to have a mama that has a milk bag like this one does because believe me she can provide enough juice for everybody she is a mature sheep and these three lambs are doing really well as you can see on her just by themselves and then adding the creep feed in makes an additional uh, you know protein and nutrition source for them so that they can really thrive and really grow fast and being a triplet's not going to slow them down at all okay here is a little picture of the creep feeder I'm going to try to see if I can film the lambs coming in and out and how hard it is for me to maintain it um, the little J feeder is real easy to make. There's instructions all over the internet on that. It uses a four inch tube at the bottom for the lambs to have a place to eat at. 
Um, I also recommend if you're going to use it outdoors to drill a few drain holes in it so that any water can escape if it gets in there. And I check every time it rains or make sure that the feed is dry that these lambs are eating. I don't want them to eat any spoiled feed. That would really make them sick. So I'm going to fill up their feeder with uh, uh, scratch grain. This is the first grain that I supplement with usually. It's a scratch grain. It's just like you would buy for chickens. It has no medication in it. Um, scratch grain works really well with the little lambs because it's all ground up. It's small. There's a lot of different grains in it and stuff, so it makes it easy for them to eat. There's a little hay ring there. That's It's just the top ring cut off of a 50-gallon barrel. It has no bottom. Um, I have a new flake of alfalfa hay laying in the bottom of it and I'm going to put the chops on top of that and then I'll put the grain in their grain feeder. We'll see if we can get these lambs to eat this morning. Okay, this is the chopped hay that I use to supplement the babies. It's a Do More brand alfalfa chops. comes in a 40 pound bag like that and inside as you can see it's kind of a chopped hay and it looks like this but it's in the bucket and it's a real small fine chop These sheep are all pretty sure they're starving to death. Let's see if I can sit here for a little while and see if we can get any action on the lamb part. As you can see, in that far corner over there where the mama and her babies are, is where I put hay out for the mamas in the mornings. Um, there is a little bucket feeder over there, and the lambs can get in there, the sheep can get in there and get some hay. And I put fresh hay out there for them. And the mamas can just kind of stand over there and munch and lounge. And that's kind of what they're doing because we're still on spring break until we get our last set of lambs born. And everybody gets up and strong enough that they can get out to the pasture. Um, as you can kind of see, I don't know how well you can, but we're starting to get a little green in the pasture. We still don't have a lot of grass yet but we've been getting a lot of rain this last week and it's starting to green up. I'll see if I can kind of pan over here a little bit. But we are starting to green up um, by the end of this next week. By the end of this next week we should have some pretty good grass on the pasture. But this is where the mamas hang out and the mamas eat and it won't be too long and the little lambs are going to get bored with looking at their mamas eating and they're going to head over to the creep feeder and when they do I'm going to try to get a shot of that.
so you can see how the one little lamb just went right through the rollers and now she's over there eating some of that real choice chopped hay she's gonna have a spot over here in this creep pen where they can rest and eat the choice foods and you know sometimes when the mamas get shoving and banging over there in the hay corner it kind of gives them a place of safety where they can just get out of the mess and they're real secure over in there and they can still see mama she's right there they feel nice and safe um like I said setting up a creep feeder is very important for all lambs it's even more important when you have something like a set of triplets um, what creep feeding does is it gets a lamb's rumen kick-started. Sheep are ruminants. They have four chambers in their stomach, not four stomachs, four chambers. Um, little lambs are ruminants, which means that they have a four-chambered stomach just like um, some other animals do, namely cows and goats also have a four-chambered stomach. Um, when they first start out, they just basically drink the milk and digest the milk straight away. It's not too long before our little <coughs> lambs are trying to do everything that mama does. And you can see them up here sitting in the middle of their hay pile. And see him taking a little taste of that hay? And they take a little bit of this and a little bit of that. and what they like and as they taste things the little particles of grass or hay or little bites of grain that they eat have um, bacteria naturally on them and as the lamb matures um, the rumen develops more and more and starts to flourish and it helps the lambs to be able to break down more and more complicated foods.
If you notice, these little guys are eating some of their chopped hay, and they're tasting other hay and others' mother's milk. Um, every little bit of the stuff that they eat will add to the bacteria growth and add to the rumen, and it helps them to digest more and more food. And that's how they, you know, really get a lot of nutritional value and stuff out of their feed and really grow well. Um, there have been a lot of different scientific studies about the rumen and how that develops and why creep feeding is important and why it gives them such a jump start. You notice a couple of these guys have a little bit of scours because they've been eating quite a bit of the feed and they're, they're just kind of getting used to it. Um, if they don't have enough bacteria to break down the foods that they're eating, it results in a little bit of diarrhea. It happens usually when they start new feed. Um, they'll probably scour again when they first start eating grass for the first time. As long as it's not severe, you know, it's not really that big of an issue, but you do have to watch them. But they can be in this little creep area and have their feeds. And Mama is right over here and she's eating her hay. Kind of gives everybody their little place to be. Get back there so I can talk to these people and they can see you eat. Hey! <laughs> Come on! Come on, I want to take a picture of you eating in your creep feeder, you goofuses.